So in this video, we're going to look at a peculiar type of problem where uh, rather than go down the two-stage simplex route, which you could do for this uh, because the origin is not uh, a part of the feasible region because we know that x squared equal to 2, y is squared equal to 3, and z is squared equal to 1. So we could go down the two-stage simplex route, but instead, to avoid that, we are actually going to use some substitutions to deal with it instead. So we're going to reformulate the problem in standard linear programming form by letting capital X be little x take away 2, capital Y being little y take away 3, capital Z being little z take away 1, and capital Q uh, replacing P take away 11. So the first thing is I'm going to deal with these first. So if I'm going to replace the x is, okay, well, the little x, the capital X is x take away 2. So that means that little x can be replaced with x plus 2. So uh, we're going to have x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 2. And so capital X is going to be greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so that's what that inequality will become. This one. Uh, if we look at capital Y being Y take away 3, then lower, little, case, little Y or lowercase y uh, will be capital Y plus 3. So capital Y plus 3 is going to be greater than or equal to 3. And so Y is going to be greater than or equal to 0. And capital Z uh, is equal to little z take away 1. I'm going to have to make it a little bit more pronounced, I think. There we are. Uh, so, lowercase z is going to be capital Z plus 1. So, capital Z plus 1 is going to be greater than or equal to 1. So, capital Z is going to be greater than or equal to 0. So, now, because you've got those, um, we're going to be starting at the origin. Okay, so that would allow the simplex algorithm to work. So the 3x plus 5y plus z is less than or equal to 50. We're going to have to replace the little x with x plus 2. So 3 lots of capital X plus 2 plus 5 lots of capital Y plus 3 plus uh, 1 lot of capital Z plus 1 is going to be less than or equal to 50. So we're going to have... 3x plus 5y plus z. We've got 3 lots of 2, so 6, plus 15, so 21, plus another 1 is 22. Take that from both sides, and we would be left with 28. So it's going to be less than or equal to 28. Subtracting 22 from both sides. OK, so that's what that inequality is going to become. And then we've got the uh, objective function where the P can be replaced with Q plus 11. So if Q is equal to P take away 11, then P is equal to Q plus 11. So Q uh, plus 11 is going to be equal to two lots of X, so two lots of x plus 2, capital X plus 2, plus 1 lot of y plus 3, plus 4 lots of uh, z plus 1. So q plus 11 is going to be 2x plus y plus 4z. 2 lots of 2 is 4, plus 3 is 7, plus 4 is 11. The 11s cancel from both sides. So we have that. So our linear programming problem becomes maximize, not P now, but Q, which is 2x plus y plus 4z. OK. Uh, subject to. So we had this constraint here. So 3x plus 5y plus z is less than or equal to 28. And capital X is greater than or equal to 0, capital Y is greater than or equal to 0, and capital Z is greater than or equal to 0. 
So this can now be solved using the simplex algorithm, um, which will solve the original problem that we wanted to solve, but it avoids using the two-stage simplex algorithm.